Hello friends, today in this video we are going to learn the parts of syringe and needle. So let's start. This part is known as syringe. It is made up of three parts. They are plunger. This is known as plunger. By pulling this, normally it is in this way. By pulling this we can fill the drug within the syringe. Now the fluid is entered in this part which is known as barrel. Now this barrel is having indications 0.5, 1, 0. in this way which are in ml. But when the syringe is of insulin these indications will be in units and not in ml. The third part is known as nozzle or tip where our needle is inserted. We can see that in this syringe, this nozzle is located centrally, but in some syringe, this nozzle will be located in periphery, as we can see in this one. It is used for intravenous injection. Now, let's look at the parts of needle. This is known as guard of the needle. Opening it, we get this needle. Now it has three parts. They are this is the hub of the needle, this is the shaft of the needle, and the upper part is known as beveled tip. Now, what is the use of this beveled tip? When we inject the needle in this beveled up position, then the chance is that we will cross the two points of the nerve vessel is reduced in this way otherwise if we give needle in this be well down position we can cross the two points of the vessel and hence there can be leakage of the blood vessel and hematoma so when we inject the needle it must be in our be well up position is it visible to you this is known as be well tip now the hub of different needle is of different color. It indicates, see it is green color, this one is of purple color and in this it is also purple color. The color of the hub indicates the inner diameter of the shaft when the, uh, it is measured in gauge or millimeter. Higher the number of gauge, smaller will be the diameter. Now. Let's look at the different color of the hub which indicates different gauge. When it is of pink color it means it is of 18 gauge. When it is of yellow color it indicates 20 gauge. Green 21. Black 22. Blue 23. Purple 24. Orange 25. Brown 26. And gray indicates 27 gauge. So, smaller the gauge, as we can see here, larger will be the diameter. So, it will be used when we have to inject large amount of drug. And when the gauge is the highest, it means the diameter of the shaft is very less. Hence, it is used to inject very small amount of drug. Now, we know that through intravenous route, we can give any amount of drug. So it should have a large diameter and hence less number of gauge that is around 18 to 23 gauge. So we will use the needle with pink colored hub. From intramuscular we can give 1 to 5 ml of drug. Hence it will be having lesser diameter than that of intravenous. So gauge will be bigger that is 22 to 24 gauge. Hence we will use the hub with black color or blue color. Now, through intradermal route, we can just give around 1 to 2 ml maximum. Hence, diameter will be smallest and gauge will be the highest. It is around 26 to 28 gauge. So, we will use the needle with brown or gray hub. So, friends, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Thank you.